Wisconsin will soon be added to Chicago's travel quarantine order. It's a move that could be challenging for some city residents. WGN's Dana Rebick is live on the north side with more. Hi, Dana. Hi, the mayor made this announcement at an unrelated press conference this afternoon, and this is a tough one with the city's close proximity to Wisconsin and so many people traveling there, especially in the summer to places like Lake Geneva. But the mayor feels that this new order is necessary. We're also seeing an increase um, in states around us. Wisconsin, for example, is going to go on our quarantine list um, later this week. Which means any Chicago resident who has spent more than 24 hours in Wisconsin will soon be required to self-quarantine for 14 days. Wisconsin now becoming the 19th state added to the travel ban list due to concerns over high coronavirus case rates. Other states include Florida, Arizona, Tennessee, Texas, California, California, North Carolina, and Iowa. Probably it's necessary, but it's like there's, it's impossible to do that. I disagree with it. However, I do support our mayor. I really do because she's doing the best that she can. The self-quarantine order is not being enforced. No one has been fined yet. It's more of an honor system. Exceptions to the order include essential workers and those coming here for medical treatment. COVID-19 is very much real. It is dangerous, it is part of our present, and it's going to be part of our future. So we need to make sure that we're doing the steps now that are necessary to start to slow again the spread um, of this virus. The mayor said that this travel quarantine will take effect tomorrow and again only applying to Chicago residents and it does not apply to those who live in Chicago and just go over the border to work. You do have to spend again more than 24 hours in the state. Live near Montrose Beach, Dana Rebic, WGN News.